Can a single moment redefine the outcome of a race? As Denny Hamlin and Martin Truex Jr. dueled under the lights, a late caution threw plans into disarray, setting the stage for an unforgettable showdown. Stay tuned to NASCAR Zone, where we are diving into a tale of strategy, speed, and the sheer unpredictability of racing, where victory and defeat hinge on seconds, decisions, and the relentless pursuit of glory. But before we jump, hit that subscribe button. At Richmond Raceway on Sunday night, it was very exciting. Denny Hamlin won the race in a special ending called Overtime. He won because there was a caution flag at the end of the race, and he was the first car to restart. As the laps dwindled down, the race narrative took an unexpected turn. Martin Truax Jr., Hamlin's Joe Gibbs racing teammate, had been leading the pack with a commanding presence, dominating the second half of the race and looking poised to cruise to victory. Truex led a staggering 288 laps, showcasing his mastery over the Richmond Raceway's three-quarter mile D-shaped oval. The race's denouncement seemed scripted with Truex as the protagonist, holding off challenges from formidable competitors like Joey Logano and, of course, Hamlin himself. However, the script was about to be rewritten. With just two laps remaining, the racing gods intervened. Kyle Larson, fading from contention, was nudged from behind on the front straightaway, his car skidding into the infield and bringing out a caution that would ultimately reshape the race's outcome. This moment of high drama provided Hamlin with the second chance he needed, a lifeline thrown in the deep waters of competition. I needed that kind of situation at the end to happen to win it, Hamlin admitted, encapsulating the blend of skill, strategy, and serendipity that defines NASCAR racing. The late caution was more than just a pause in the race, it was a reset button, offering Hamlin a shot at redemption and glory in the ensuing overtime sprint to the finish. Hamlin's victory at Richmond was a spectacle of resilience and tactical brilliance, underscored by the pivotal late caution that transformed the race's trajectory. This race not only added another chapter to Hamlin's illustrious career, but also highlighted the unpredictable, thrilling nature of NASCAR racing, where fortunes can change in the blink of an eye, and victory can sometimes hinge on the capricious twist of fate. The atmosphere at Richmond Raceway was electric, as the NASCAR Cup Series race unfolded with intense battles, strategic plays, and a display of sheer driving talent that kept fans on the edge of their seats. Central to the narrative that the night was Martin Truex Jr.'s to own, whose performance of the race was nothing short of dominant. Truex, driving for Joe Gibbs Racing, showcased a masterclass in precision and control, leading an impressive 288 laps of the race. His command over the field was evident as he meticulously navigated the three-quarter mile D-shaped oval, a testament to his skill and the synergy between him and his team. Truex's dominance was not merely a matter of leading the most laps, it was how he led them. Wait, before we cover this, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for each update. So with each lap, he seemed to further cement his position at the front, holding off challenges from seasoned competitors like Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin. His car, finely tuned and performing at its peak, appeared unstoppable, destined for victory as the race neared its conclusion. Truex's performance was emblematic of a driver in complete harmony with his machine, poised to claim the spoils of victory at a track where he had previously triumphed. However, Kyle Larson became the unexpected catalyst for one of the race's most pivotal moments. Battling to stay in contention and possibly secure a position to challenge for the lead, Larson's fortunes took a turn for the worse. A nudge from behind by Bubba Wallace on the front straightaway sent Larson's car spinning into the infield, triggering a caution that would dramatically alter the race's dynamics. This late race caution was not just a momentary pause in the action, it was the spark that ignited the final showdown. With only two laps remaining, the field was bunched up for a restart, erasing the comfortable lead Truex had built. The race at Richmond Raceway was building to a crescendo, with Martin Truex Jr.'s lead seeming insurmountable until fate intervened, reshaping the narrative in the blink of an eye. The caution triggered by Kyle Larson's late spin came just as the race was winding down, with only two laps remaining in regulation. This moment of unforeseen drama brought the race to a tense standstill, 
compressing the field and nullifying Truex's significant lead. Suddenly, the race was wide open, with victory within reach for any of the leading contenders in a forthcoming overtime dash. As the caution was declared, teams prepared for what would be the most crucial pit stop of the evening. It was a moment fraught with pressure. A swift, efficient pit stop was essential for maintaining, if not improving, position for the final restart. Denny Hamlin and his Joe Gibbs racing team executed flawlessly, winning the race off pit road against teammate Truex and setting the stage for a dramatic final act. Hamlin, now in the lead, displayed a remarkable blend of aggression and control. As the green flag waved, he got an excellent jump from the inside lane, a move that was both bold and risky given the circumstances. Truex, ever the formidable challenger, was right there, looming in Hamlin's mirror and ready to exploit any mistake. The restart was clean but fiercely contested, with Hamlin needing to defend his position from Truex and other challengers who were all vying for the win in the race's final laps. This was a moment that distilled the essence of NASCAR racing, high stakes, high pressure, and the relentless pursuit of victory. Hamlin, with a blend of skill, strategy, and a little bit of luck from the late caution, managed to hold off Truex and the pack. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, it's, uh, it's happened to us a few times at Richmond here. So, you know, lead the whole race, and then some stupid, some dumbass move brings out a caution with, you know, coming to the white flag and um, and re ruins our whole night. So it was unfortunate, but uh, you know, honestly, just awesome job by my team. And uh, come in with the lead, go out second, you know, to the fastest pit crew on pit road is uh, it's a tough one to swallow. But I feel like, you know, we, we still got to have a race for it, but um, just got used up in turn one on the race. What can you... Denny Hamlin's thrilling overtime victory at Richmond Raceway was not merely the result of a driver's skill or the fortune of late race circumstances. It was a testament to the power of team dynamics in NASCAR. In the aftermath of the race, Hamlin was effusive in his praise for his team, highlighting the collective effort that propelled him to victory. Yeah, all pit crew, this is a team win for sure. This trophy needs to go and, and to each one of these pit crew members' uh, house. It just did an amazing job. They've been killing it all year. Just such, such a great feeling when you know you can come in and have a pit crew like that. Hamlin's victory at Richmond, his fifth at what he considers his home track, was not just another notch on his belt, but a moment of affirmation for the entire Joe Gibbs racing team. The win was Hamlin's second of the season, contributing to the cumulative success of Joe Gibbs Racing in the fiercely competitive NASCAR Cup Series. The importance of this victory was multifaceted. Not only did it showcase the technical prowess and strategic acumen of Hamlin and his team, but it also highlighted the emotional and psychological boost that such a win provides. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hit that subscribe button for more NASCAR updates.